Hi everybody, welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today, the pump fake. Why you want a pump fake, and really more importantly, why you don't want a pump fake. We are gonna learn from a mistake today and to better understand why and why not to do a pump fake to take a shot down the field. So fired up for this one, let's dive into it. Welcome to the QB School. So this video is gonna talk specifically about when to pump and when not to pump fake a certain route. So for me, the overarching, most easy way to understand it is in zone coverage, and we're running, we're talking about double moves on the outside. So sluggo, come back and go, out and up, seven up, whatever you want to say. Something to an outside perimeter receiver. If it's zone coverage and the corner is looking at you, then let's pump them. But know that when you do that pump fake, that other players are going to see it and get a head start over there, so it's going to impact the trajectory and ball location of where you throw that ball coming out of that double move. If it's man coverage and the corner's staring at the receiver, there's no need to pump fake the route. The route wins. Allow the wide receiver to do their job. They need to beat the corner. You need to beat the safety. So in man coverage, you're, the quarterback's always responsible for the safety in down the field throws. But in man coverage specifically, you can really manipulate that safety, almost pump the opposite way or really move them with your eyes and shoulders because you know where the double move is and you know that the corner is not looking at the quarterback. So it doesn't matter where you look. So you definitely don't want to pump fake in man coverage because all that does is bring over the safety extra defenders to the side that you're trying to take the shot on. So again, if it's man coverage, you can manipulate the middle of the field player or the safety to that side. Look off, come back, let it rip. If it's zone coverage, you want to come out, pump them, Hit it, but then know that when you go back to throw that thing down the field, you've looked over here. You've dramatically impacted what people are looking at to now we got to take an advantage of the ball has to be a little bit firmer, a little bit farther to be able to take advantage of guys getting a head start on what direction we're going to. So in zone coverage, pump the route. Know that the ball trajectory either has to be flatter or farther. In man coverage... You want to manipulate that middle field player and know that the corner is going to be beat by the route and trust your wide receiver on the perimeter to do that. So there's a difference. Zone, we're pumping the route. Man, we have to control the near safety. And that's just not what Mac Jones did in this game. And Micah Hyde made a great play, but Mac Jones certainly could have helped himself if he didn't pump at the route in man coverage. So again, the overarching theme here, zone coverage and the corners looking at you, let's pump that route but know that it's going to impact the timing of it down the field and potentially more defenders being where we want this ball caught. The next part of it is if it's man coverage, we are not pumping the route. We are controlling the near safety and trusting the wide receiver to beat the coverage with the route. So here we go. Big first down after a nice scramble. We're taking a shot up top on a double move, a little fake in. But we pump at that thing, and it allows the safety to go over there and make a great play. Now, if the safety wasn't there, that thing's an easy touchdown. We've got ourselves potentially a game, and we still have to get a stop on defense eventually, but you can see here, watch the pump. See how he pumps the route? He's pumping and staring at that thing, and that's a great route. It's a win. It's everything except the quarterback play here, being able to deliver this thing to make it work. So let's look here, just pure scheme-wise, what's going on. We are taking that double move up top, big shot. So right here, up, stutter on this little in, and go. Now you can already see here from the film, all 22, blurry. He's staring at this wide receiver. He's staring at this slot. This is man coverage. I mean staring at him. Easy to see. So when we come up here, if we want to take this shot, we like this matchup, there's that double move. We need to, as a quarterback, that's our player. This player is the wide receiver. This is our player. So when you come back in your drop, you're going to hit this thing at the back, whatever it is. Let's pump, manipulate this guy this way. Let's look this way. And if for some reason, say we do that, say we look over here, we're doing everything we possibly can to move this safety. If he doesn't get far enough over, then we need to have something built into that to take advantage of that. And they totally do. So here's the double move. Okay, It's there if we hold the safety. 
If not, we've got this little over working to that exact space. So this safety technically can't be right. But playing quarterback here, we can't just lose our mind, put blinders on, and just say, I'm going to pump this thing, and I'm going to chuck a bomb over here. Because, I mean, it's a great play, it really is, but this should be a walk-in touchdown. He gaps him with the double move. So let's watch it again here, just the timing of the route up top. So there's the double move, got him. I mean, it's over. The safety, though, is just getting depth staring at Mac Jones. He pump fakes. It just allows the safety to get over there, turn, and go. As opposed to, if that safety gets so much depth, let's look at the number two on the slot, coming across on the over, and it's there. Now, again, it's easy to play quarterback with the clicker. Don't get me wrong. But it's really important to understand this pump fake thing. Man coverage, we are not pumping the route. You have to control the middle field player, especially in closed post safety. So again, from the back, you can really see the pump fake. Now we hide right here. He's playing the middle of the formation, not the middle of the field. We got a nub tight end, come back, look to the opposite way, to our left, his right. There's no reason to pump that. No one's looking at that, except the guy who picks the ball off. So yeah, am I being a little hard on it? Yeah, these are turnover plays that should be touchdowns. I mean, look at him. He gaps him. Now, yeah, that's a great play. You sh he shouldn't be there. Again, you know, why are you pumping that? Who are you manipulating with that? The corner is not looking. That's just, I mean, crazy frustrating. And I know this thing gets out of hand and they do a great job on the other side of the ball, et cetera, et cetera. But these are things that, you know, you would think are second nature when you get to this level. In zone, we pump the double move, but you still have to control the middle field safety. That safety is still the quarterback's responsibility. In man, you do not pump the route. You have to hold the safety. In fact, it would be, I, I still think it would be better to just pump the other way, like pump a ghost route out there. That's brutal though, to lose a touchdown for a pick. So certainly lots to learn from in this video. I know it's just one clip, and obviously the Bills had a great day offensively, but I think it's an important one specifically for the quarterback position and really offensive architecture down the field. So again, let's go over it one more time. When we are running double move routes, so any type of double move, think about a sluggo, a hitch and go, a stutter go, anything really on the perimeter. If we can tell pre-snap, is it man or zone? It impacts what we want to do as far as the the footwork and timing of the quarterback. So if it's zone, I think it helps to pump at the route. The corner or the defender is looking at the quarterback. They will break on your pump fake. But if they're not looking at the quarterback, if it's man coverage and they are eyeball to eyeball with the right wide receiver, why would you pump over there? All it does is bring the safety to the party and in any shot down the field, the safety is the quarterback's responsibility and so you have to manipulate them. It really gives you the green light in man coverage to really manipulate the hell out of that near safety, to look them off, to twist, to pump fake the other way, to know you're gonna take a shot down the field. And if for some reason that safety gets so much depth, you gotta have another route coming into the space to take advantage of it, and they did. So not only do you miss out on a touchdown because you pump at a route in man coverage, but you also you know, miss another opportunity for if you Say you pump at it, it's man coverage, you get confused, it's man coverage. Not everybody's going to know every single play, myself included, any quarterback, if it's man or zone, every single play. Say you get confused. Say you pump over there in man coverage, the safety gets depth, it gets out of there, and go make a play on the ball. Come off of it and throw the route taking advantage of the safety getting depth and getting out of there with the over. And again, I know uh, these videos, to me, sometimes I come off, even as I talk to myself, coming off a little bit harsh just because of the importance of these types of turnovers. But I think the reason that it is is because this is one of those things that is quarterback specific. The quarterback impacts so much of this play by deciding, do I pump at it or do I hold that middle field player? And if that safety gets the interception, that's the quarterback's pick. And it, it's, it's kind of compounded in intensity when you brought him to the party with your pump fake and man coverage. So brutal. Uh, good one to learn from. If you have similar stories about picks 
or learning about different ways to use and not use a pump fake, make sure you throw them in the comments. As always, I appreciate it. I will see you next time. Have a good one.